Hi, I'm Mike. Holiday shopping for the kids is easy. Santa takes care of most of it, and what he doesn't grab, well, you can figure out. But for adults who have their own cars and the ability to shop on the internet whenever they want, well, that's a different matter altogether. Today in a bonus video, I get a chance to take you around the shop and show you the tools and the toys that I can't live without. And maybe that'll help you out as you uh, head out to fill the list in for those in your life. We also have a special offer on our very own website, ourwildinglife.com, that I'm gonna let you know about in just a few minutes. And Erin's gonna pop in too to show you some of her must-have garden gadgets as we go shopping in the shop on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> I really don't like shopping, especially for adults, and I know that people hate shopping for me, especially for the holidays. If I really need something, I go and get it, and if I don't have it, well, I probably don't need it, or at least I don't know that I need it yet. We had a subscriber suggest that we make a video this holiday season showcasing our wish list for the ranch. Now, for me, that's a little bit too self-serving, so I thought it might be a bit more fun to help you out as you go and shop for your loved ones, or maybe just a Iron Wyoming Life fan in your life. As you know, I get asked all the time what kind of hat I wear, what type of boots, and even occasionally what kind of underwear. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. And making this video actually helps me out because I get to get all that stuff out of the way and even leave links down in the description so you can find them easier. Some of these products are actually sent to me, but I can say with complete honesty that I either use these products before they sent them to me or I bought them myself and then got the chance to try them out and found out that I like them or I can't live without them. Now, Erin's still out doing chores, but I expect her to be back here in just a few minutes. She's gonna show you some of her must-have tools. And I guess I'm gonna start it off at the top, the top of my head, and that's my hat. The one thing that some say actually made this channel, but really, it's a hat that I remember since I was a little kid. My dad always wore a Stetson hat, even when he couldn't afford to wear one. He'd have a hat that was two sizes too big for him, and he'd stuff it with newspaper so it'd fit his head, not blow off, just so that he could wear a Stetson. When we came to the ranch, Gilbert told me to get a good hat to protect my hen from the sun and the, the, uh, the uh, cancer that he was dealing with, the, uh, what is that called? Skin cancer, there we go. And uh, I picked out a black Stetson hat for winter and a straw hat to keep me cool in the summertime. My black hat is called the Skyline model, and my straw hat, well, usually it's the cheapest one I can buy, but it's still a Stetson. Funny story, but after wearing a Stetson hat in a few hundred videos, I got a hold of them, and I asked for a hat to give away to you. I told them that I'd been wearing their hat in videos that millions of people have watched, and now we've given away hats in quite a few live streams, and Stetson is a fan of our wild life as well as the other way around. At the other end of the spectrum, well, that's down at my feet, you'll find Ariat boots. This year, I have waterproof hybrid rancher boots. These are uh, boots that I've worn since coming to the ranch, although I change styles as the kids get me new boots. The old boots are always donated to a local cause that rebuilds them and gets them out to folks that, that need them. And these waterproof boots have been doing pretty well for me. The folks at Ariat set up a little program that allows you to get 10% off these boots or really anything on their website when you use the link that's down in the description of this video. Now I'm gonna to try to squeeze in 10 things into this video that, so we're gonna cruise right along here uh, and I'll try not to take up too much of your time. I've talked about it over and over again and whenever I get an email and somebody asks me about raising beef cattle or asks me for tips, I usually get them aimed towards this book. It's Raising Beef Cattle for Dummies. It was the first book after I came to the ranch that I bought, and although the title might be a little bit insulting to some people, it's full of useful information, and I think it costs less than 15 bucks on Amazon. Every single rancher that I know carries a knife, and I've carried almost every single type of knife that I can think of. I'm faced daily with net wrap to cut off of bales, and the only way that I've found to do it quickly and easily is with a razor blade. I carry with me a utility knife. Uh, for me, it's the easiest way to have a knife that's always sharp all the time. And if you're cutting net wrap, uh, don't get one with a little string cutter thing in it. It'll always get caught up. You wanna have a straight one like this. And this one's called the Husky Work Pro. Another thing that uh, we really like, and if you don't wanna carry, carry a razor knife, uh, was actually sent to me by a subscriber. 
Uh, with this, this is called, what is it called? <laughs> it's called a uh, hay knife, that's what it's called. And it was sent to me by a subscriber. And with it, you can reach across a bale and cut net wrap and twine. It runs about 25 bucks. And there's a link for this down in the description as well. We're already up to five items on our list. And here comes Erin. Erin, come on in with a few of her tools from the garden. Uh, I'm guessing that if you have a gardener in your life, they can benefit from these just as Erin has over the years and you have your, your stirrup hoe with you. I have my trusty handy stirrup hoe. I think it's time for an upgrade. This one's uh, been well used for several years, but a stirrup hoe was a game changer. It's a lot easier to remove small weeds. It even goes in between my very tightly spaced uh, 30 inch beds. I definitely recommend a stirrup hoe to anybody. You can pick it up at your local uh, hardware store, garden center. Um, I wouldn't say that you need the fanciest, most expensive one that you can find. Any old stirrup hoe will uh, get you started and you can see if you like it. Um, uh, Haas Tools also has a push-pull hoe that I really enjoy also. So there's very fancy ones or just pick one up at your lo local garden center. I love this, well used. It's mine now. I need a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Something else that I have really enjoyed um, that I've had for a couple of years. We're going to have to lift it up so people can see it. But. <laughs> Something yeah, that there I we go. really enjoyed for the last couple of years is the... It's not in your way, is it? Yeah, right in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Something that I've really enjoyed over the last couple of years that I've got to use it is the Haas wheel hoe. It comes with different attachments. It comes with plows. You can hill potatoes. You can cultivate soil. And right now, I the most common tool that I use on it is a 12-inch oscillating blade. Works really great to keep my walkways clear in between my beds of plants. So love it. It is a must-have. And they're not horribly expensive. You can have a, get a single wheel hoe for under $200 with with a few attachments. So definitely something I would also recommend. What else you got over there? The last thing is my Earthway. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna kickstand. Uh, my Earthway Cedar. Um, I switched from, when I first started marking farming, I didn't know that there were such things as push cedars. And so I would seed everything by hand and that's horribly tedious and time consuming. And I switched to an earthway cedar after probably my first couple years in market farming. Must have for anybody, I think if you even have a garden that's more than 10 feet long, buy a push cedar. Comes with different size plates for different seeds. Um, I have never found a seed that I couldn't put through it with the different plates that you can get and it just makes things more precise and that is a great entry level push seeder. Definitely would recommend a push seeder if you're starting in market farming. Um, they're again, all different price points, but the Earthway is a great entry level one. Cool, cool, yeah. cool deal. So that takes us to number eight. Do you wanna jump back behind the camera in case I move around? Sure. So that takes us to uh, number eight and uh, if you're keeping track of things to do, actually, let's head over here because uh, this is the project list. Everybody's pretty familiar with the project list. But if you're looking at keeping track of things to do around the shop, I couldn't function without the list. Uh, my list is actually a four by eight sheet of plastic. Uh, it's actually from Home Depot. It's screwed into the wall. But really any dry, a dry erase board will do. Um, in fact, you could have two, one for the shop or your garage and one for the house that your wife can add things to. Here's the trick though, have only one marker and, and keep a tight rein on it. Hey, I'm buying more markers. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine uh, here on the ranch are power tools. Uh, we couldn't really do anything without the power tools and I've got a lot of them. Uh, I really don't deal with any type of manufacturer or anything like that. In fact, I just started buying DeWalt uh, years before we started doing YouTube. And I did those really had nothing to do with quality or their warranties. It was because uh, Gilbert at the time was buying Milwaukee brand power tools and I didn't want him stealing mine. Never did by the way. So no matter what brand you like, a good impact driver like this little guy is a must uh, for me, as well as a couple of portable saws. Uh, I've been slowly transitioning from 18 volt to 20 volt. And I imagine by the time I get them all moved over, it'll be on to the next thing, which will probably be 60 volt or, or something better than that. And the last thing here on the shop that I use almost daily, and if I can't find one drives me nuts, is a good old bucket. Now you can get a bucket at Harbor Freight, you can get one at uh, 
Home Depot. I think they're a little bit cheaper at Harbor Freight, uh, but they also make great containers to hold your items while you're shopping. And with a lid, you don't even have to wrap anything. Just smack the lid on there and throw it underneath the tree. In fact, I wonder how many pictures of five gallon buckets underneath trees I can get uh, <laughs> this year. So Aaron, if you wanna come back around, that's it uh, for our Christmas list uh, this year. Uh, that's our Christmas top 10. If you have any other ideas or items that you can't live without, uh, throw them down there in the comments. Uh, help some other people, uh, me included, come up with ideas for shopping this year. If you know anything Aaron wants, put it down there too. Uh, and get some ideas for yourself at the time. You are the worst to shop for. I, I, I don't like shopping either, so I mean, that's the way it is. Uh, thanks for putting up with us for just a little bit, and thank you for being a supporter of our Wyoming life. As a reward, we want to offer you a coupon code that's good on our website through December 1st. Uh, with this code, you can receive 10% off any order on our website from what, honey and hats and glasses. Whiskey glasses, shot glasses. T-shirts. Apparel, yep. Oh, and the Blonde Cow T-shirts. The Blonde Cow line of T-shirts are now up. Uh, there's three different T-shirts, a couple different hoodies, and uh, the proceeds from those go directly to her food and, and medical fund. Her old lady fund. <laughs> her old lady fund, it's her retirement. Uh, if you'd like an additional 5% off, all you have to do is head on over to the website, sign up for our weekly newsletter, and you'll get a code in your email for 15% off instantly. Just use the code at checkout, and your discount will be automatically applied applied. That's it for us. A new video is due out on Sunday, one that comes from uh, viewer emails as well, but thousands of them uh, with the same question. The camera's migrating. It is. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's moving by itself. Make sure uh, that you subscribe so uh, you don't miss the answer to that question or anything else. Before the camera walks out the door, we're going to get out of here. Have a great week and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life. Maybe I should get a new tripod for Christmas. <laughs>